clear honks. Got a rack up, 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 rack up,
that debate can go back and forth like all day. Well, really, what I'm gonna say is this: if you're competing in music, it's not really like oh Drake is the popular one. Like if mm-hmm. we're talking about music for music, it's not gonna be like oh well we like this band more, but they didn't do they didn't perform. Mm-hmm. Like I understand that everybody likes Drake, mm-hmm. but if Drake didn't perform. You gotta give the award to the person who did. Mm-hmm. And if we're talking about rap and then battling, mm-hmm. it's like. I mean, it's different, bro. Like, trust me, I'm not saying either or, but I'm just. Yeah. I'm more of a lyrics person. Exactly. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I listen to the lyrics. That's why. I li- that's why I don't. Li- I don't ever listen to the radio. That's why I really don't be knowing when the hottest songs come out. Right, what it does, like because I don't listen to the radio. You know, they play the stuff on the radio. Yeah. I listen mm-hmm. to underground music. I appreciate underground art. Because mm. they actually, underground art is less influenced for mainstream popularity. So their lyrics are going to be more authentic. Yeah. So I'm not saying I'm in category one at all. Like, I'm just making a point as far as playing you. I'm playing devil advocate since I'm sitting back here in mm-hmm. your spot. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, we did switch it up this time. <laughs> it's going push the T. That's why Drake is sitting in the back seat, by the way. <laughs> Give you back their light right? skin. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> No, I'm glad yeah. I'm not Drake, bro. <laughs> like, for real. Still yeah. coming from my head. Nah, but yeah. But I had to switch it up. So yeah. go ahead and introduce yourself. I think they always stopped because I said I was pushing T. Did she introduce herself? No, I didn't. But yeah. y'all already know who this is. <laughs> it's your girl, Ami. Ami official, for sure. This is Ami. Go ahead and add me on that IG. DM me some nice things. Got it? <laughs> but be respectful. That's all I got to say. Yep. Yeah, keep okay. going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm in the back. Like, y'all don't know what to do. I switched it up to the point that y'all like stuck. Like, ah, oh, dang. Yeah. Let me have a t- let me have a sip of this. Did no. you introduce yourself? I did. Yeah. I said I was pushing tea. But oh, okay. Every other day, I'm uh, C H A dot M E L L E. But every other day. Every other day, that I'm not pushing tea. So who were you yesterday? Yesterday I was me. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Right now I'm feeling myself. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I see you for this. Look at this. Look at this style right now. Oh, man. Yeah. Rich and Rodden, thank you for the merchandise. I just want to shout y'all out real quick. Shout hey, out. Hey, Miss Eva Marie King, thank you for the plug. Dope. My nigga Muhammad on a stack. It's a dope shirt, man. Like, for real. Slit. So, yeah. yeah. Send some more merchandise. Yeah. So, everybody can be Rich and Rodden out here. <laughs> hey. That's true. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Like, that's bad true. Oh. So yeah, man. What's what's the apps, man? What's... Well, um, for one, it's Pride Month. Happy Pride. It is everyone. happy Pride. Um, Shout out to my niggas. Yeah. Okay. Who are those people? Yeah, like, like, can we, like everybody in the a sip. LBGTQ oh, okay. community. All right, gotcha. okay. I wasn't sure. I had to clarify. And Family. Family. Yeah, and you know, um, it's interesting, LGBTQ. Like when I was in college, there was um, an organization on campus called Quilt Bag App. Mm. Okay, so <laughs> Quilt Bag App. So every letter stood for an identity, basically. Mm. So queer, Eunice. Wait, you might be on un, un, undeclared, intersex, lesbian. Transgender, bi, Woo! asexual, pansexual, poly, I think, okay. or something like that. Yeah. Um, was that quilt bag? Oh, I lost my spot. <laughs> wait, wait, where? No, I did. No, I did. I did quilt app. Okay, the bag. Wait, did I do G? G is gay. Yeah. And some other stuff. I, I lost myself. The reason and, I screamed the word. is because when she said bye, I had to start off with represent for one second. Okay. It seemed random. I just want to clarify it. Oh, it's lit. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Shout out to the bi girls out there. Okay. <laughs> we love y'all. We, love, we need love, we too. You know, I was told to stay away from y'all when I first entered this you know community. What? I can't stand <laughs> that mindset. Like, I get that, I, I get that, so, like, before in the past, I would get that sometimes. So, like, I still get people. That's not the problem. I'm a good person. But it's like, I definitely got them conversations with, like, I had one dude that was not down with it. Like, one. So, wow. Like, at one dude point, that wasn't down one dude that was not down with it, he was hmm. like, so you like girls too? I was like, yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm in that category of, uh, being open-minded. He's like, mm. I don't like that. You don't like it. I have never known a guy to not like it. Now, on the flip side, women, 
Man, women, you say that, they like, so what, you gonna cheat on me with a guy one day? Like, no, Heffa, if I cheat on you, I cheated on you, period. Like, I just left you <laughs> in general. You over here concerned about the tool, like, that's underneath yeah. the clothing. No, I just left you, Heifer. Like, that's what I did. Like, just to be clear, just saying. And, you, you know, I think the whole, like, not wanting to date someone by isn't, for, for me, in my experience, it was a maturity thing and it was mm -hmm. an age thing. Like, when I was younger, like, more new in my gayness, <laughs> um, I was like, yeah, I would pass on a bi chick. Like, I'm not about that <laughs> life. But now, as I'm older, it's like, I kind of don't give a fuck. Like, at all. <laughs> but can you, really, at all. can you really put a label on any type of love? Like, either if it's polyamorous, either if it's, uh, you know, someone that's transgender, either for someone that's bi, either for someone gay, lesbian. Like, can you really put a love on, you know, a label on love at this point? It's 2018. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, at, at this point, it's just like, be you. Like, I've, I've talked to some girls before who, like, I was talking to this one girl and she was like, yeah, I, I've dated guys, but I also like girls. I don't, I asked her if she was gay straight up and mm -hmm. that was her answer. I've dated guys, but I also like girls. And I was like, um, okay, yeah, cool. You don't even have to like subscribe to anything. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? That's like, so real. Gay is uh, like not, a, it's not as black as white. It is black and white is just being gay or straight. Mm -hmm. There are people that like different things. There are asexual people. Mm -hmm. Would you label them heterosexual? Cause they're not really sexually mm -hmm. attracted to anyone. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I, haven't, I haven't even met as far as I know I, I would like to have a conversation with asexuals like how do you get pleased sexually like they yeah. don't they that's don't what, like that, it that, but that's that's crazy to me though yeah but it's yeah. not absurd I won't say that because anything's possible but yeah. it's crazy to me I guess because I'm in a different category I enjoy being pleasured mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so it's like you enjoy not being pleasured like but I, don't, I don't think it comes quite down to that though like I would love to, like you said, talk to someone. Because at one point, I thought I was asexual. I think yeah. I might have told y'all that. It's some people. Yeah. <laughs> she might, we have, might have to send a, send a, give her a link to, to take an asexual test. Yeah, you <laughs> might be. You know? <laughs> like, but no, no, no. Like, I can't say she is because she enjoys, like, she's having sex regardless if she if is being know. touched in any way. <laughs> well, well, you look at well, uh, how for me it's right like <laughs> for me like I was always wondering why I didn't want to hump every other thing that I saw like my peers did yeah. like I just don't have that sexual drive like I feel others do when it comes to like just this, yeah. this, this, you know what I mean and I, I mean that's something I think maybe we should talk on later too it's just like I mean everybody's different like yeah. i don't have to be fucking every night yeah to, to to feel pleasure or to feel satisfied yeah you know no i, I mean? don't feel like you're uh asexual yeah i just I feel like yeah, you're I'm, just like you like sex but it's not like like some people have sex and it's like i gotta have it every day yeah yeah it's, it's some like, people that are extremely excessive with it and there's some <laughs> people that just do it they're yeah, fine they, with y'all need therapy the ones that are <laughs> like excessive with it no, if, no, if you therapy enjoy, is beautiful. Do, do you <laughs> just don't? Get, yeah, yeah, man. If you, enjoy, but if you have a partner crazy. that enjoys just as much sex as you do, then hey, have at it. Like, who am I to judge? You know, everybody. I do, but even asexuals, everybody has somebody out there in the world that is for them. Like, period. No matter how weird we might think it is, and weird just being foreign, like different. You know, I'm not saying weird as a negative term. You know, but everybody has that one person. I truly do believe that. Like. I don't know. Or maybe we have several soulmates. That's a whole different episode. <laughs> but yeah. I think it's possible, you know, to have people that, that definitely will love you for you, regardless if you're transgendered or asexual, whatever. Somebody's out there. And, you know, I also want to say, like, if we ever say something that isn't quite on uh, point yeah. as far as some of these terms and shit, email us, hit us in our Instagram DM, and let us know. Like, we are up for being educated. So if you identify as asexual... Fucking hit us up. Yeah, we, we I was it. You yeah. know what I mean? I definitely think that it's a really cool conversation because I feel like they get left out. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like, I feel like LBGTQUIP yeah, is, <laughs> is just the spectrum of sex. Like, yeah. it's fluid. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, it's not this or that. It's really like different people like different things. Like you mm-hmm. said, I doesn't, just because my sex drive isn't like my peers doesn't mean that I don't like sex or I'm like, or even if you are, like, I feel like everybody's different. Sex is, some people aren't exposed to it it like that or some people just don't care you know it's not like everybody has a different sex drive that's basically oh boy try to explain all this to our parents (laughs) they're gonna they're gonna be like scratching their head wanting some wine everything can you imagine trying to explain asexual transgender like like just all everything you just said like they wouldn't know what to do but the thing is most people don't know what it is yeah i mean even to today as like non-binary and like pronouns and like i mean it's still building and it's still stuff to be educated on even though we're in the community there's still shit that i don't quite understand that's why we need to talk about it yeah it's very true i understand what non 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 (laughs) 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 look you see how my my tongue can't even form the words Non-binary. You call it? Non-binary. Non-binary and, and the different pronouns you mentioned. Like, it's crazy. It gets deeper and deeper. Yeah. But that's not a bad, a bad thing. That's just more room for self-knowledge. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah and I, I really, and, it's, and it goes into just making sure that you're open to being educated. Like, there's documentaries out here. Gender Revolution with Katie Couric. Like, talk, talking about transgender issues and things like oh my gosh like it was just so just full of just rich knowledge you know what i'm saying yeah. just like because you think you know something you know. but then yeah you, you really don't, don't. Nothing, like, yeah not. and it's like man i wish this could be like broadcasted across america on primetime television because like people are so when they, people don't educate themselves, they say dumb things and they do dumb things. And it's like, you don't even understand what trend, what like what being transgender is. Not you at know all. what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, if you took the moment to just like try to understand and educate yourself, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, well, the first step is you got to care. A lot of people don't care. Yeah. No, I like, they don't it needs care to be in their know, face. You know? We yeah. hide a lot of things to not rock the boat. Mm-hmm. But like you said, how could we explain this to our parents? Yeah, we could easily explain it to our parents. We're talking about it now. Like, mm-hmm. more, we need to sit down and watch things. Yeah, it's we a, need to, to have those conversations. Mm-hmm. Like, if you now, it's like, oh, that's a man. It's like you don't understand like you said there's a million things that we just don't get mm-hmm. yeah. they go through things that aren't natural to me or so the next person because i never woke up like that but knowing mm-hmm. that i mm-hmm. would feel like damn let me understand because that's crazy it's people mm-hmm. that wake up just different yeah now, Matt, yeah if you like that's i think i t- said this um off camera with the conversation we were having last week when we went out <laughs> but the same thing I was like, for instance, your your if your mom is a heterosexual, you know, had you know, they nothing but men, married to your father, whatever, how can she understand yes, she gonna think you weird if you like a woman. She's not she don't like women. Yeah. She likes men. So yeah. but the people are so quick to judge, like, well, you asexual, so you just weird. No, if you were asexual, you would understand how I feel, but you're yeah. not. Yeah. So how are you gonna know how I'm feeling? Yeah, exactly. And that's and that's like such a key thing, I think, when growing up is having these role models or having these um, opportunities to make these connections where you know that you are not fucking weird. Like, yes. this shit is, like, actually kind of fucking normal and kind of prominent mm-hmm. around you. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that kind of goes into, like, in today's world, you know, 2018, <laughs> hashtag 2018. It's 2018. just like... 2018. <laughs> Boy, it's lit. Man. It's just like, I, I feel so fucking lifted especially for these kids growing up Mm -hmm. they have so much more um 
uh, accurate content to listen to and look at and just to know like yo you're fucking okay you know what i mean like you are you're, yeah <laughs> bro and that's the thing that's why i can sympathize with people that are different than i am because mm-hmm. i remember growing up being gay and dealing with that yeah i didn't have any role models like that it's people i had to yeah. guess and it's like people that are on a major platform they're afraid yeah mm-hmm. if i felt like they were gay it's like it's certain it's like the brat i was like you gay bro right you gay why aren't you gay just come out just come out but those people are like superheroes yeah and it's like if the superhero isn't taking off the cape you know what i'm saying or Mm -hmm. flying the cape whatever yeah how that that means that it's something wrong yeah and that in me i was like I don't know if I want to do this. Yeah, yeah. And it's like going against who you are. Like when you force it, when you try, it's just such a, it's not you. It's not. Like you feel crazy. Mm -hmm. And you don't feel, you're very self-conscious. You're very insecure. Depressed. It brings on all these emotions. And then when you got people who say things because they don't understand. You need to go to church more. Like we don't get to the church. We or don't get the they walk. just say ignorant things need, that are yeah, hurtful. Things, like yeah. like little Duval talking about how he would kill a transgender if he didn't know. Yeah. Like it's just funny dumb. to other people, yeah. but these are people's lives. Yeah, they, like, that's not funny people if you live that yeah. life. That's like you don't you're gonna kill me because you don't understand me. Which, because I'm foreign to you. You don't understand yourself. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, well, that's some deep stuff, man. How you gonna get mad at me for making you think, my nigga? <laughs> kill me because you feel some type of way about me and I'm over here minding my business. That's which is crazy. crazy because it's like honestly if she's a woman which 90% of the women who are the transgen- trans women look like, like women. women. <laughs> you know yeah. they don't look like men because yeah, that's exactly. what they're yeah. going they're not that. <laughs> yeah. So if you a man that identifies himself as heterosexual mm-hmm. are attracted to a woman that doesn't make you gay. Yeah. <laughs> like but it's like if you really sit there and think it makes sense mm-hmm. it, like how could you actually say that and you have a brain like you could say it's ignorance all day but it's one plus one equals two mm-hmm. it's very simple I like yeah. women I'm attracted to women she's a woman Boom. <laughs> you were born a man mm-hmm. but that's not where we at today let's talk about what's happening today right mm-hmm. so it's just like crazy but people allow people to say shit like that and it's okay yeah it's funny and you know i think again like as as we progress you know and today people aren't getting off of the hook so easily most definitely you know um yeah. even with the you know the girl song with um Nicki minaj and all them whatever and you know sort of the um people were upset because it portrayed being gay as something that you had to drink wine to do. And, yeah, you know, okay, so Rita Ora. Yeah, Rita Ora. Yeah, that's oh, that right. Song. That's right. I was like, I was confused. On which yeah, because Nick, Nicki Minaj been on a lot of tracks. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, what did I say? Nicki Minaj? Yeah, no, it was, it was Cardi B. Oh, okay. yeah, it was Cardi B. My bad. Yeah, <laughs> they're the same person. And, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I get them mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> they're the same people. You never see them in the same place yeah. at the same time. <laughs> um, but. Uh, shit, what? <laughs> what it makes them look very cliche. Like, that shit is yeah. not real. Talk about something that's authentic. Yeah, shit. and you know what? And I, I, I 100% agree with that argument, right? But I also understand, because I also thought about it in a way, like, I'm sure Katy Perry's I Kissed a Girl was problematic, right? Yes. But when you're 15 or 16, you don't know what problematic is. You don't. All you know is that you see something on screen that you identify with. And it for me, like, that Katy Perry I Kissed a Girl, that helped me at that time. Well, that was a song. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was literally and a so, song. And so, like, I, I, again, I agree 100% with the argument that, you know, this this girl's video video or music isn't completely um, accurate. <laughs> yeah, not but, for me. 
Yeah, but at the same time, I understand for someone who might be 15, 14, 16, looking at this, that could be a it boost of hope. That would have been so much for me. Yeah. Like you said, when I Kissed a Girl came out, mm -hmm. I was so, because it made me feel like somebody finally stepped up and was like, even if she's not, just yeah. somebody was like, it's okay. It's like this is Loki normal. Was on your side. Yeah. Like, like, I'm not this, but I have friends that are this, so I'm going to portray this as, you know. This is okay. Mm -hmm. This is okay. This, this yeah. is not, like, I'm going to say it out loud that I did this, and I'm cool with it. Right. Yeah. Which a lot of people don't because it's like yeah. a witch hunt. It's like people say things all the time and it's like people that are close to you say really negative things when it comes to that community mm -hmm. that you feel like you identify with. Mm -hmm. So it's like for me, I, it would have been helpful if, like you said, Katy Perry put out I Kissed a Girl when I was a child like or the brat was like, I'm gay. Mm -hmm. This is my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or just saying I'm gay. Yeah. Like, it yeah, would make me yeah. feel better about saying that to people I love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and again, it just goes back to, like, I'm, I'm just so, like, proud of where, we, where we're where we going in the LGBT communi uh, community. Like, as far as Haley Ki uh, Kiyoko and you Tony. got fucking, you know, uh, Ellen DeGeneres is fully out now. You got, you know... Ellen Page, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you have these Kalani figures. Is, of yeah, she says she's yeah. Kristen Stewart. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I she, didn't know she said she was gay. Yeah, she uh, had a girlfriend. What's that girl from Twilight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kristen Stewart. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, my bad. Why did I think about she's it? She's like, is she gay? And then she said her right after. <laughs> I didn't know her name. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Lena Waithe, like yeah, and, and she's making like headways right now, like just going in, and getting awards and whatnot. Like seeing that her is, succeed is yeah, it's even crazy. even uh, blacks, uh, black people in the queer community, yeah, like that's fucking huge. Yes, know? like uh, even Janelle Monae yeah. saying that she was yes. pansexual. Which call me. <laughs> no. Please, you look right in the camera. That was passion right there. Bad passion. Like, please. Uh, I think she's taken them. Is she? By who? Tessa Thompson. Only for why, why do people think that? I don't know, bro. It looks like it is. I don't, even, I don't even think Tessa is. You know, I thought she was straight, but you can't think nothing these days. Everybody is. What fluid. is straight? Everybody's yeah, been like, through it though. Yeah, I what? think it just makes you. Because I for a while I thought about not being gay. <laughs> you when thought about when, when, not being gay? Yeah, I had a grandmaster what? friend. What? Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah. Lay this out for I'm gonna get married to a guy. Yeah, what, no, the, like up until like 21, I was like everybody that knew me, I was with the guy. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> so I was just gonna continue wow. to do that. So when did you know that you were gay? I always knew, but when I came to terms with it, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna, this is what I feel. And I'm gonna, probably like 21. Mm -hmm. huh. But I was dating girls a little bit at 17, 16. Like, wow. bully, bully jumping out there and being like, okay, Young I'm one. attracted to, exactly. I'm, <laughs> oh, shoot, I'm worse than her. But what yeah. age were you? When I have, like, can you be more specific? <laughs> yeah. Whatever it started. When, what? <laughs> I don't know. I remember a girl kissing me when I was, like, five or six. Wow, did Man. you? Was it, like, a kiss? Like a, I mean, right? we're five or six. You can't just tongue kiss at that point. But <laughs> I know, you know, I know I remember, some, like, a girl kissing me. And at that time, you don't think about it. But being my age now and looking back at that and remembering that moment, it's like, even then, as kids, you're supposed to be innocent, right? So even that act was innocent. She was just be she felt a connection in some way, shape, or form, even at that age, sexually. Not se just because you say sexually doesn't mean it has nah. to do with sex. You know, yeah. it's just more so of a of a connection that you have. And she felt that hoe, she went for it type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, lit. <laughs> just saying. I wish I I wish I knew her. Remember her name? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. She was lit. It's been a while. It was lit. No, I've, I've had experiences like that, similar. Maybe not, I don't remember, like, kissing anyone. Or maybe, mm -hmm. like, a peck, yeah. Okay, like, yeah, like, like a peck. But kids. I felt like she was, like... Flirting. Yeah, you can tell when kids do that. Even, yeah. Like, That's... even heterosexuals, you know? Like, yeah. they're like, this is my first boyfriend when I was, like, three, you know? Yeah. Whatever. 
Right. What do we know about boyfriend and girlfriends at that age? But here we are saying, this is my boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, like yeah. some crazy stuff. Like, living is interesting. But that's crazy. Just even hearing that, how young we are with the idea of a heterosexual relationship being off rips. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, that's hella fucking young. Because you're taught you're, yeah. you're taught that very early on. That's this what is you your see. only path. You do not you don't sway, you don't do you don't go nowhere. You go straight. You play yeah. house, so you gotta <laughs> You know, distinguish who's mommy and daddy. <laughs> daddy. Like, even in the games that you play, and even, mm. like, if you have a dollhouse, Barbie has Ken, you know, it's never, like, oh, yeah, it was yeah. set up as Ken and, Ken. uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's never like Ken that. Damon or exactly. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're, like, and then Bert and Ernie, like, I feel Damon. like that was, that was kind of the first gay stuff that I saw, but it was different. What? Bert and Ernie from Sesame Street. Like, the, the oh, rumor is that wow. they were gay. They were really? a couple. Really? I wouldn't be surprised. Huh. They like, always be putting that little, little subtle hint up in there. Shit, yeah. yeah, Sesame Street is definitely woke TV. <laughs> <laughs> The group, don't, get, like, don't get it twisted. Yeah, Sesame Street it's definitely. not just for kids. No. Yeah, nah, everybody can get something from that. <laughs> Down to Sesame Street, you know? Like, nah, but I definitely feel like, um, I think it stopped. I don't know. Oh, but okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no. I think that freaking Bert and Ernie were gay. And um, that was their subtle way of being like, this is what it is without all the intimacy. Mm-hmm. But in that, but it doesn't that also transfer to transfer it to like I guess I'm using the right term. I don't even know. Yeah, I need to read more books, god dang. Oh, um, <laughs> but I, I think that that same situation also goes into adult life or just life, right? You everybody got that uncle that you know mm-hmm. is gay, but the family don't ever talk about it. <laughs> that one thing. gay uncle. But I feel like I might be that person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, you gay uncle? <laughs> Look, nobody say nothing to her. We just know, goddamn. We just know. That's crazy. <laughs> it's like crazy that they, everybody knows not to acknowledge the gay. Like, people always be like, oh, you got married? It's like, we don't never talk about nothing. Who like, you got married to? Yeah, it's, it's like, never oh, like, oh, so how's your boyfriend? Yeah, like, they just never talk about that partner unless yeah, they're there. Right. And you know, that's one thing I've noticed. Like, my family never asked me. Like, grandparents, <laughs> aunts, cousins, they never asked me about a boyfriend. Like, when I was younger, <laughs> they, yeah. they would play around and do that. But, like, nowadays, like, nothing. <laughs> You know, you so. give it away, man. Give it away. <laughs> Which is crazy because why you can ask me about you used to ask me about a boyfriend. Now that you know I'm gay, why you ask me about a girlfriend? Because why don't you want to talk about it? I don't want to talk about it. Why does that know. make you feel weird? Right, right, right. I mean, it's just a taboo thing, especially with the older and especially older generation, and especially with uh, within the black community. I mean, yeah, it's, it's just heavy. Some, you know, you just don't talk about it. It's not something you do. Yeah, you, you know? don't talk about anything. Let it go. Yeah. yeah, you don't talk about anything, right? You just keep things That's like sad. it may anything be anything that happens. Which is crazy because families, black families, be gossiping. You know, like, <laughs> like y'all want to talk about everything, but then when it's like in front of you, you want to be like, "Don't tell Shamel I told you." But <laughs> don't talk about no girlfriends. Don't talk about her and girls. Don't stand her next to no girls. Like <laughs> y'all don't want to mention it when I'm around. You don't want to ask me like, "How's my girl?" But when I'm not around, you want to talk about it, or you want to find out who I'm dating. Well, or I think even with that, it's like them doing it behind your back. It's like, okay, I low key am interested, but I want to still be ignorant. I'm too scared to ask because it's it's not the norm, which and, is sad, you know. And then part of it's like, it, cause like, am I a part of the problem? Because like, should I be more forward? Cause to me, last time I talk talked about some gay shit with my parents, it was when I came out. Yeah, like, you know, saying real talk. So yeah. that was like what four years ago, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and of course, there's been stuff that has come on TV about Pride, and you know, maybe uh, there was one time we were watching a comedy show and they were talking about gay stuff, yeah. and stuff like that. <laughs> Look, so that stuff <laughs> comes up, and you know, and it's just, it just comes up. They know? probably got scared. They're probably sitting there like, oh, bro, I'm telling you, they had this is so this. awkward. <laughs> so so so. For future reference, since you don't ever talk about it, because you're saying, are you part of the problem, right? So let me ask you this. So when you when you do get a girlfriend, are you going to introduce her? 
Are you gonna bring her around? You gonna keep her in the dark? You know, like, and some people do. Some people live their life keeping their yeah. partner in the dark. Because it's easy for them not to bring make it uncomfortable. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Are you willing to make them uncomfortable to the point of like, not even on some like crazy Is it stuff. that important to you? Basically. Yes. Okay, so here's my thoughts on it. If I, now of course I would have to be serious with the girl, mm -hmm. with this girl. Like, I'm not just gonna be no, dating you a few months and like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm taking you to meet my parents, like, I'm thinking you're the fucking one. <laughs> yeah, it's not a tension. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> this is it, this but, is it. <laughs> but, um, it's like, I definitely would bring the, her around my parents and I probably wouldn't up front. I probably do a little test run with mm -hmm. bringing her around them without yeah. fully declaring that hey this is da 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 yeah but i'm sure i definitely would at some point have that conversation with my parents hey you know what i'm saying i'm getting really serious with this girl and i just wanted y'all to know you know yeah. what i'm saying like i don't i don't, and you know i've always thought about marriage too and i i don't know like how they would feel about that like yeah. i really don't, don't like it yeah, I don't think they'll like it, but it's like, I don't know if they would be, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, they might change in a sense. I mean, it, it can go two ways, bro. You really just don't know how people are going to respond at a certain level. Yeah, like, that's some what I'm people saying. Like, some, your parents love you enough, right? Some parents are going to be like, oh, you go, you get married. Okay, I know that you're seriously, you know, into this, this woman. Um, maybe we should get to know her type stuff. And then you got the other ones that flip that are just like, oh, so you're actually getting married, like... You're actually taking that full step. I, I don't know if we can be a part of that. See, I don't think they would flip on me, but I don't know if they would like come to the wedding or like but be a that part hurt of your it. Feelings? Thinking about that? <sighs> Not fully. Okay. I feel that. Yeah. I feel like Not you fully. already accepted that they probably yeah. should we accept it? You know what I'm saying? Like to a I mean, sometimes extent. it's really out of your control. I mean, at the same time, if you're hiding who you are and trying to fake the funk for their comfortability mm -hmm. then i feel like that's kind of like i know my people why come. i mean my family wouldn't come they too freaking religious it's like it's like so-and-so can cheat on so-and-so so-and-so can also mess with someone else this way yeah. but you and, gay you marry somebody like that's not like, really religious i think because if you're gonna condone one and go around them and like no, and, it's really it, my i'm saying my people are religious i don't know about yeah. this. i'm not saying Mine the situation you know what no but what i'm saying is if you're religious and you are like no sin is greater than the other it's like how can you support someone who's oh well they cheated but they need to like whatever Bro, they the case do make. though but it's That's like, what i'm saying understand this most religious people and this is my opinion of course disclaimer most black christians are definitely on their high horse when it comes to religion. The reason I say that is, like you just said, well, it's logical. Like, if no sin is greater than the other, right? So if someone cheated and someone's gay, it's the same sin. Black Christians don't think that way. They feel like gay is the ultimate sin, even though the Bible doesn't say that. I'm well, telling you, it's not experience. No, I'm not saying that they don't. What I'm saying is, if you're hardcore and you go by all the rules, it's like you can't be like, well, this is a greater sin, so I'm gonna be cool with the person that's, a, or I'm gonna condone the adultery, but. I can't, I cannot be a part of the gay. It's like, if you believe the book, then I ain't fucking with none of it. I'm not it's messing. With, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. You can't really say you're religious if you make exceptions. So if we gonna make an exception, let's just think, let's talk let's about. Exceptions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, why do you really think it's okay for this person to cheat and hurt that person intentionally? Like you took vows, you said that you were going to be exclusive and you went outside of that versus something that I can't control. I'm loving someone. I'm not hurt, yeah. harming anybody. Mm -hmm. You choose to be harmed by me loving yeah, that's someone right. of the same sex. Right. You got mm -hmm. your feelings in there. You're not even in a relationship with me. I understand you're religious, but what in the Bible led you to be like, I can't mess with this person. And two, if that's something you feel like I shouldn't be doing, you should be helping me. Well, I, th I think part of it is like people like to throw stones, right? People like to feel like uh, and and I, I just go to rappers, right? Immediately yeah. I go to rappers. Exactly. Rappers can be the, the most homophobic people on the planet sometimes, but yet you fucking every bitch that you sign an autograph for. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, got, baby you got five baby mamas, though. That's you know what I mean? But God knows your heart. <laughs> but the rest but of God us, 
your heart. You niggas need to be on your shit because it's no way that you can be gay and be accepted by the rest of us. It's like all the rest of the sinners can party over here, but because you gay, you gotta go over there. That's where we draw the line. It's like we make exceptions and I'm religious. That's the thing to me. It's like if it were any other religion, I feel like they hold tight to their mm-hmm. values. If you really Muslim, you that. assalamu alaikum. No pig for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like true, yeah. with us, it's like I go to church on Easter Sunday, so I'm religious. You know, yeah, that's really the extent of my religion. It's mm-hmm. like you are not really your spiritual fam. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you and, think you're religious. And I, I want to go back real quick to my parents, right? And <clears throat> me kind of accepting the fact that they might not come to my wedding or approve of that. I feel like there's a give and take, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like if I'm going to ask you to. I feel like if I see you making efforts to accept me, then I am going to try my best to understand where you're coming from, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, what, what, for one, I don't even know if I would have a wedding. I might just be like, hey, let's just. <laughs> <laughs> no, I totally but, feel you. But, because why? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, you know, I, I understand. I'm not going to try to force you to do something that I know your whole life that you have been told is something wrong, even though I know that I don't agree with that. But just like I'm asking you to give to me, I'm going to give to you. Of I'm, course. I'm just like I'm asking you to give me some slack, I'm going to give some slack to you. And I'm going to understand where you're coming from on not wanting to come to my wedding. Yeah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and I'm not going to resent you for that or hold that against me against you you know what i'm saying most definitely it takes time uh, ideas what? take time i don't know i might hold it against you because <laughs> I, I don't know man i get what you're saying yeah you're basically saying to be fair and i think that's the most like i think that's the path that should be followed mm-hmm. be fair like try to understand my perspective you don't have to accept it try to understand i'm understand your perspective yeah yeah but i, I don't know i might low key hold something against you because it's like why is it that we can the whole family can know you marrying the wrong guy or girl, but we go to your wedding and we support you because we mm-hmm. love you. Mm-hmm. So if I'm marrying mm-hmm. somebody, it, if it's me in the picture, why can't you go to because you love me? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I it's get the it. Same I type get of it. scenario. Yeah, I get it. So I wouldn't. I don't know. Like, and I'm playing devil's advocate low key, but it's like, eh, I might feel some type of way. No, yeah. of course you're probably gonna feel away because you your hope is that if they see that you're happy, they would wanna celebrate in your happiness despite right. your ideas being different. We're gonna come to a compromise. Right. You know, I don't really understand, but I'm willing to do that. And I'm willing to support you still, not understanding. Like you said, I'm going to understand that you have different views than I do, but I'm gonna respect and I'm gonna be patient and I'm going to support you in that. Yeah. Even though I don't agree, I'm still living in that, you know, mm-hmm. of you not agreeing and us trying to work. So if you're going to love me and support me, work your way up to it. You mm-hmm. know, like I see both sides because it was like at one point I was like, if I did get married to a woman, would anybody in my family come? And would I still want to be a part of their lives after that or want mm-hmm. them a part of mine? It makes you question. And it's mm-hmm. like what Michelle said. I understand that you grew up in a different time than I did. Mm-hmm. I understand because for a while I tried to hide my gayness mm-hmm. just based off of what I was yeah. taught. So I understand that it takes time and it takes um, different situations to happen for you to get there. Yeah. <clears throat> but I mean, I don't know. My parents are cool with it now, so more and more I feel like if they're cool with it, other people, it makes other people open their minds to being like, well, what is the problem? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, do y'all want to shift gears? Yeah. We'll take a little break real quick a little and little come break. back. Yeah. All right, then. Uh, we're about to take a uh, quick break. We'll be right back. Instagram it, it's after 2 a.m. What? Bet. That's all you say is fault. Wait, what did she say? That's all you're saying? That's Are what else gonna, do I need to say? Don't need to explain. But you need to say, yo, it's Chamel. Um And you are watching Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> and it's after 2 a.m. Yeah. Keep all that. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to use that. You're uh, this is Shamel, and you're watching. It's after two a.m. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Did you um drink finish that beer? No, I'm not sure. You want some? No. <laughs> oh. I was just wondering if I'm you had finished it. Oh, I appreciate that. You're Thank welcome. you. That was sweet. That was sweet. I'm trying to grow being sweeter. Oh. Mm. You're growing. <laughs> I am growing. Dude. You're a I pretty am. sweet person. I actually am sweet. I'm just spicy. Shut up. I'm a sugar. <laughs> just because you don't understand completely, you don't know I mean? Obviously, obviously, the person I'm talking to thinks I'm sweet and something. Ooh. Fast. <laughs> they think you sweet for different reasons than we think you sweet. It's not true. I have other friends that think I'm sweet. <laughs> you know what I mean. Look, I can't apologize for who I am. That's But beautiful. I do think that there's always room for self improvement, and that's what I'm trying to do every single day. And I think that's Amen. what matters. Yeah, it's like I just hit y'all with a thirty-second freaking life lesson. Okay, and we're back. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna talk about our first gay things. Like, what was your first? Y'all understand that question? Because no. that was like, right? <laughs> what is the question? I don't even that? know what I'm trying to ask. Like, what was the first thing mm. that you saw that was gay? That's brought out. <laughs> Go wherever you um, feel. Hmm. Well, I will say a TV show that was very um, pivotal, uh, very. <laughs> important the in way my your lips <laughs> <moves>. <laughs> very important in my uh younger years um south of nowhere okay oh my gosh, that? that was the show that was the show film oh my gosh i remember yeah. that. <laughs> i that didn't know you watched that show, show. <laughs> <laughs> and i didn't even do much on there you know compared to how it is now on tv yeah yeah they were actually real respectful yeah you know what i'm saying that was the show though so what happened for Would those you? of us who are not familiar what was the gay thing if i remember well it's basically two gay girls or like a girl who was like straight at one point but then like identified as gay or mm -hmm. something and then like in high school it's high school based and like they got together and it was just a you know Gay girl shit, like <laughs> <laughs> gay girl teen shit. It was really yeah. subtle though. Yeah, it wasn't, it was, it wasn't it's in like, your face like that because they were teenagers. Yeah. yeah, so it was from that angle. So it was real, like you know, subtle. <laughs> but it still meant something for someone that is a teenager going through that, feeling that way at that time. Oh, of yeah, course, yeah. just yeah. any you know? image of that is helpful because yeah. you only see one thing. So yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh man, you go ahead, man. That's a, that's, that's I don't know about that on my end. Uh, I think it was probably like the L word. For sure, the L word was your first time. Like, seeing I mean, something gay. Seeing something gay. Cause the L word came <laughs> like the like like maybe uh, junior like high, high school. Isn't it? Yeah. I was gonna say like maybe 2006 or something. I was gonna say 2001. I'm trying to think I, I of know. anything yeah. that I saw that was gay. That's what I'm saying. I can't really answer that question. I don't think Logo and stuff like that came around until I was like Yo, a teenager. Logo was my shit though. Yeah, it was. It was like early teens that I got into that. Yeah, man. I think it was. Because I watched a lot of black stuff growing up. I mean, mm -hmm. I watched like a mix of things. It was like. But it wasn't just like gay stuff happening mm -hmm. like that. Like I, I guess Ellen. Like the first time I ever saw Ellen do anything, I guess. But I take that back. It wasn't L word. It was Queen Latifah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Her existence. Once I was okay. introduced to Queen Latifah, I was like, she gay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. She tried to act straight on living single. Yeah. After you know, I saw set it off. I was like, we oh no. Man. Like you gotta be. Why are you dating this guy right now? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I thought after I saw that movie. Like, what is going on right now? Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, that was probably the first gay thing that I saw. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Y'all have interesting stories. Beautiful, beautiful. 
I think I just I can't say my, my first thing. I really don't know. I've been pipping since I was like oh, wow. kindergarten. So all I know is I would just sneak and like watch stuff on my like like um the yeah. internet, like certain movies I would find. And it wasn't like crazy like stuff, but it was I wasn't able to like see I didn't know where to go to see gay stuff on T V. So I was find stuff on, on the internet and watch certain movies and stuff like that. Like I don't know. Gave me a certain feeling, you know? Yeah, that's where I watched the L word. It was on YouTube. I would like search <laughs> Like search for days, whatever I can get. Trying to, yeah, trying to find the episode. You be mad with like two seconds play, two minutes yeah, play. You're like, yeah, for real. bro, that was like, man. When I finally saw something, it was like sex scenes. Mm. That's what I was looking for. Like yeah. I had seen little things on logo, but when I saw the L word and they were actually having sex, it was like. Crazy. Wow, this is I, I don't see gay sex scenes. Yeah. That was the best thing for me, like mm -hmm. because you see sex scenes all the time. They don't feature two women, so yeah. to actually see two women getting it in mm -hmm. a show, it's the best. I watch the L word still to this day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't get old, and it's just like a rite of passage. I feel. Yeah, you know? most definitely. Like, those those are like you know gay gay shit 101 like that's just like mandatory study you know <laughs> which I mean? so okay let me ask this which character would y'all say you all are were on the l word when i first started like would be on the l word yeah which character right now i mean when i started i was probably jenny oh mm. that's an interesting choice man very interesting i was probably jenny She's um i'm job. into like i'm Shane transitioning to bet. <laughs> uh, transitioning? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, can see that. I can see that. Alrighty then. I mean, hey. His face is up. Yeah, um, definitely. I feel like I appreciated them because they were all different experiences, which I think everybody, like even Alice. Like, I feel like if you started off as Jenny, you might end up as Alice or Tina, depending on what type of person you are, but. I wouldn't even put them in the same category. They were all bi. That's the only reason why I said Jenny, Alice, and Bet. I mean, and uh, Tina. Tina. Mm -hmm. But uh, what's her name? Dana was always gay, right? Yeah. 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 So I think that that's a category, too. Maybe a little bit of Dana. I was faking the funk. Basically, she got mm -hmm. five different characters she would be. What about you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you be right, you be everybody <laughs> point in my life. I started off as Jenny. This is where I'm at. <laughs> this is where I'm at now. I mean, I honestly don't know. Like, I low key feel like she would be Marina, but like more masculine. Definitely Marina. You That's a good look. Are the Latina? Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's correct. Sexy accent. She used to mess with Jenny, and they actually yeah. oh. She was Latina. Okay, no, okay, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, you're talking oh, about Poppy. Really? I was talking about the one who was messing around with Shane. Oh, you're talking about Carmen. Carmen, Carmen. Okay, I yeah, love yeah, yeah. her. Okay, yeah. I wasn't saying okay. Carmen, even though she's beautiful. But yeah, yeah, no, because, yeah, that's what I was like. Okay, but now I remember who you're talking about. The yeah. Older. Yeah, okay, Marina, yeah. Marina, uh, okay. Just okay. Marina was smooth. <laughs> yeah. 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 Marina just more, you know, on the masculine side of things. But, yeah, yeah. like, I think I can see you with her. Mm, yeah, I can see that. That's true. Yeah. I can see that. Pippin. Like, she was real smooth. You real smooth. Yeah, she snatched a boy's chick. Like, she swooped her up. <laughs> Fast. She didn't even know what was happening. She didn't know what was happening. She just went along with it. Just, you know, just flew, just flow with it. She just took her with no remorse. I think I would be Alice, not because of the bisexual. Cat. I was thinking the same thing, <laughs> but not. But I think I'll be Alice just because she's funny. Like she do her, like she has personality, but she's also, you know, she's there for her friends. She's loyal, but she's just not un like she's unapologetic, unapologetically her. Like she just do what she do. She like who she like, and she said that several times before. Like I don't know, Alice is my favorite character. She was funny as hell. To me. I love Alice. She is so funny. <laughs> Alice Piazeki was my nick. And then she had <laughs> dated Tasha. Ta oh, that was interesting, yeah. That was cute. I like that. I like their little... Their little thing. Little yeah. Thing. Man, when is this reboot going to happen? I don't I feel know. like I keep hearing about it, but I'm not really seeing 
nothing. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's just like, for me, where are they going to go? Are we going to... From here, like from there. Well, I feel like there's like even more to talk about now. You're right, because it's not even supposed to be about them. It's supposed to be like the same show, but with like a spinoff. Hmm. With like newer characters, it's gonna be people that have relationships with them. I guess they'll be in it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I guess it's gonna be Bet and Tina in New York, and people that are in their lives. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> pretty interesting. I don't yeah. know. I kind of like. I like this one. Yeah. I don't know. I kind. I like this one. I feel like it was like. You know, man, just in there, authentic and everything. I don't know. That is me. I'm actually sober. Oh, really? Wait, are we still recording? Right? I thought we were still yeah. recording. <laughs> I was like, hold on. And then I looked Bro. down. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, we still recording. Our, I know we was. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Y'all oh, man. <laughs> Y'all thought, well, like, thought I was running the credits. Oh, we yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, we're going to wrap it up, y'all. Um, there's going to be a, a part two, maybe a part three to this. I don't know. We could talk about this stuff for hours, honestly. Man, um, definitely. I would appreciate if you guys just in the comments section <laughs> put your gay experience. <laughs> your no, first one. I would, I would appreciate it. I would totally appreciate it if you did that. Your first gay experience. For sure. I'm lit, man. Why? <laughs> like, I was waiting for her to finish, but I was like... Shoot. And any um, questions y'all have, please do. Q&A, please do send us questions. We definitely have the email attached in, um, in the bio. We also have it on our YouTube page. Be sure to follow us, subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Instagram, all our social media platforms. Um, download our podcast. Like, let's get it popular. Y'all family now, yeah. so let us know what you think at all times. Yeah, subscribe and review, you know what I'm saying? Uh, subscribe to YouTube, subscribe to us on the, on the platforms, review us on the platforms. That shit is awesome. We appreciate that. And we'll probably shout you out, too. You know what I'm saying? So, um... <laughs> it's a giveaway of shout-outs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, just much love. Um, anything else, y'all? No, I'm good, man. Um, I think you should say, uh, like... You yeah. Say my little thing? Right yeah, now. give them a message. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, All right, y'all. So, I guess it's after motherfucking 2 a.m. Yeah. Oh, that was ugly. Let's do that one again. Retake. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Hey, man, Richard Rotten, I appreciate the shirt. Hey, if you just get this real quick. Dope shirt. Yeah. Send more yeah. stuff, please. Thank you. Bad, bad. Um, yeah. So now is it after 2 a.m.? I after think it's a, officially after 2 a.m. now. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's after motherfucking 2 a.m. Officially now. Oh. Peace. <laughs>